Hello! Welcome to Twitter News Weekly. Here are this week's top stories. Donald Sterling, the owner of the Los Angeles Clippers, well, maybe soon to be not owner of the Los Angeles Clippers, was actually videotaped by his girlfriend, mistress, whatever you want to call it. Some pretty racist comments. And this week, the NBA commissioner, Adam Silver, handed down the harshest punishment yet for an owner of an NBA franchise. Donald, you're banned for life. $2.5 million fine. I know that's just pillowcase money, but you're gone. You can't come to any more games. Now, personally, I think you're a horrible person. I don't know. Do you think you... Yeah. Hmm. Consensus is you're a horrible person. But you know what? We're going to go to Twitter anyway. I want to see what the tweeters have to say. Tweeters. Tweeters. One particular tweeter isn't really worried about Donald Sterling, but she's more concerned with V. Stiviano, the alleged mistress. At lovely underscore Manny tweeted, Donald Sterling's girlfriend looks hideous with a bunch of smiley faces afterwards. I gotta agree with you. She kind of looks like a Ninja Turtle. You know, get that stretched back face, the beaks peeking out. Not a good look, sweetheart. At G Fence tweeted, Now that Donald Sterling has replaced him as the poster child for racism in sports, will Richie Incognito find a job? Everybody forgets about Richie. We make a shirt out of you. All of a sudden, you're going to the mental institution. We need you back. We need you back. The Racism Hall of Fame needs you. And at Gormagoo tweeted, I hate this new Snapchat more than the people in South Norwood hate Donald Sterling. That is a visceral hate. Because those people hate Donald Sterling. But you know what? I'm with you on the new Snapchat. Don't know how it works. Figure it out one day. Breaking news. Ryan and I just came back from the amazing Spider-Man 2. We saw it on opening night. IMAX 3D. And... I personally think it was it was it was really really good. Very good. But I know not everybody shares the same opinions when it comes to movies. So let's go to Twitter and see what they had to say about it. Spoiler alert: He saves Jack and Kate from the Titanic. I think that's how, that's how yeah that's how it ends. Sorry, Jack I didn't mean to I had to tell you. Sorry. Some people are setting the bar really high. Rem Delgado said, "Amazing Spider-Man Two goal for this week." Really, you know, just set that bar. You want to see a movie for the week? I mean, that's if that's what you really want to do, you set out and you achieve that goal. You go, Glenn Coco. Mean Girls, 10th anniversary. Wow. That's crazy. 25th? Actually. 25th? Mm. Uh, I don't know if it's 25th. It's about 1963. Some people are just really excited to see Spider-Man. Audrey Hamilton said, Mom's buying Spider-Man 2 tickets for tomorrow. Hashtag super psyched. Spirit fingers. Like this. Spirit fingers. Can't really do it with my other hand because I have my phone. And I'm not really sure what some people mean. Jay and I said, Spider-Man 2, I want to watch you. And I really hope you just mean the movie, because stalking is a crime. There's a very fine line between stalking someone and following around someone you think is your friend. Trust me, I know. From experience. And the courts, sometimes they get it confused, and you know, you think you're friends with somebody, and then they put a restraining order on you, and... It's a very fine line. Our good buddy, Toronto Mayor Rob Ford, just got caught smoking crack again. Yeah. Thought after the first one, maybe he realized his, the error of his ways and he cleaned himself up. But now a new video came out and hey, more power to him. He's going to get some help for the crack problem, the alcohol problem, the weight problem. So I'm on his side. Matt is on of his course. side. I mean, he's on the banner of our blog. Rob we, Ford. We're, we're rooting for you. But I want to see what Twitter has to say about the uh, embattled mayor of Toronto. He's an original average nobody's guy. He's been on the blog since day one. Day one. So Rob, you, you've been, on, you've been a, a mainstay here at the average nobody since day one. Don't leave us now. Don't. Please. Don't leave us, baby. Baby, come back. <laughs> <laughs> at MMCFAR tweeted, I know I'm likely late with this, but anyone think Rob Ford's next career will be owner of the LA Clippers? Hashtag Ford Nation. Emergent topics. Pretty impressive, right? Because I did the last one on Donald Sterling. And... At ASPG tweeted, It's tragic that Chris Farley isn't around to do Rob Ford skits on SNL. That is a Greek tragedy. And an American tragedy. A French, Irish, Italian. Just a huge tragedy. I mean, skits could be endless. Endless. And endless. And at Milk Money Helms tweeted, Rob Ford, please know that at Tim Hortons has been and always will be your biggest supporter. When the times get rough, your friends come out, and Tim Hortons, Rob Ford. If everything else goes to shit, you got Tim Hortons. Free coffee. 
And those were this week's top stories. Remember, tune in next week, same time, same great place, youtube.com slash the average nobodies. And uh, while you're on the YouTube page, why don't you subscribe to the channel, like a couple videos, like all the videos, whatever tickles your fancy, we'd appreciate it. And follow us on Twitter, at Average Nobodies. And of course, check out the blog, AverageNobodies.com. It grows by the day. It gets bigger and bigger. We have new stuff up there every day. So check it out. Give us a follow. You don't want to miss anything. You know, we're pretty important. I don't want to push any buttons, but we're pretty important now. You know, we're pretty important. Until next week, I'm Matt. I'm Ryan. Sweater man. Play man. That's sweater man. the noise in the movie. Just like that. I have a figure of Andrew Garfield, don't you think? Absolutely, actually. I was gonna say I was gonna say something earlier. We look kinda similar. Wait a second, don't touch that dial. You know, we're not done with you yet. Mm -mm. If you wanna see last week's Twitter News Weekly episode, click right up there. If you wanna see a random video from our page, click right up there. And if you want to see us review Semi Pro, which is a hysterical movie, and we're just as hysterical reviewing it, you can click right here. Right there. So that's it. Make your choice right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to let you think for a second. You have five seconds. Decide. <laughs>